ladies and gentlemen. Neo leads in China luxury EV market, yet faces significant financial losses while aggressively investing in future profitability. Neo has achieved immense success in China. You can go and check the list, okay? Neo is number one. On this list, number two is the overall sales of EV in China that are above 300k RMB. Okay? All EV. And you can clearly see that NEO is number one. NEO is the best selling vehicle. You have one and two, which are somewhat close. Then there is Xpeng X9, and BMW i5 is also in the mix. Li Auto Mega is also quite low. However, when it comes to high end luxury EV, no one sells more than NEO. Okay? No one sells more than NEO, just that. NEO has immense success in the luxury EV segment. They are number one. But how much has it cost? Okay, there is some astonishing, mind-blowing information here. And this is, of course, all public information. Tesla reported a loss of $1.228 billion in its first six years. Over 11 years, Tesla incurred a loss of $6.969 billion before making any profit. After that, in the 12th year, they started making a profit. Now NEO, during its six years of reporting, has incurred a loss of $12.64 billion, almost double Tesla 11-year loss. And if you include Q1 of 2024, which adds another $700 million loss, we are looking at cumulative losses exceeding $13 billion. This is quite significant, quite substantial. But why? Why is this happening? And will we see an end to this? Because ultimately, the goal is profitability, okay? So first, why is NEO incurring such high losses? And, of course, NEO started later than Tesla. One thing that NEO CEO mentioned was that Tesla had a lot of time to accomplish many things. But since NEO started later, they did not have the first mover advantage. They will need to spend more money to make up for the previous shortfall. Okay? So, while Tesla completes as much research in a year, NEO needs to complete three years' worth of research in one year, basically. To accelerate R&D and other necessary aspects, a lot of money is required. Indeed, NEO invests a significant amount in R&D, infrastructure deployment, swap stations, and developing their own chips and phones. Building their entire ecosystem and deploying stores requires a substantial amount of resources to reach their goals. When will NEO achieve profitability? That's a very interesting question. NEO CEO had previously stated that profitability is not their number one goal. He mentioned that while maintaining a healthy margin is important, their ambitions go beyond that. They want to build a complete ecosystem that has never been seen before and transform the company into a massive behemoth. This involves a lot of money, such as developing chips and handling everything in-house. No one else in China is doing this. I believe we are very close to profitability if NEO is given two more years. Just two more years, not more. The reason is that NEO faced a major issue when the new China, Hefei government bailed out NEO and created a new company called NEO China, with NEO Inc., holding 90% ownership. They were given a target to be profitable by the end of 2025, or else they would have to repay a significant amount of money. However, since then, NEO has repurchased the ownership of NEO China. Now NEO Inc. has greater ownership and the Hefei government has withdrawn its investment. So, this issue has become less relevant now. Fine, we were hoping that NEO listing in China could happen within this year or next year, which seemed very likely. But we need to see if this plan is still on track. This is something that should definitely be kept in mind. However, right now they are spending a lot of money on new factories. The incentives are for R&D and the NT 3.0 cars. But when the NT 3.0 cars are launched, they will use their own chips, which will significantly improve margins. They will also use their own software, which will also be beneficial for margins. So, overall margins with NT 3.0 cars are expected to look much better. And let's not forget that factories are also being built for Envo and Firefly, which also require a lot of money. 
so we might see significant cash depletion over the next few quarters this year. We could see cash depletion up to $2 billion from the end of 2023 until March 31, 2024. This cash is mostly going into factories and similar things. They are spending a lot on R&D and everything else. But once all this is over, similar to how it took a lot of money to build Tesla Gigafactory, once all the factories are operational and cars start being sold and delivered, you will see that they begin to benefit from their success. So, we need to give NEO a little more time to become profitable. I think they will become profitable in about two years, maybe even next year. When the Firefly subbrand and Envo cars start being delivered and NT 3.0 cars are also delivered, we might start seeing profitability. R&D spending is intense right now, but once all the cars are delivered and receive good reception, we might start seeing some signals of profitability, and perhaps this cycle of losses will end. Neo has lost quite a bit of money. So, you can choose apples and start selling them. It takes some time for everything to mature. If I use this metaphor, we are in the process where the tree is growing. It's almost mature and ready to bear fruit. All right. So we need a bit more time for Neo to become profitable and we need to give it time. I think they will become profitable within two years, maybe next year as well. We will have to see when they launch and deliver the Firefly subbrand Envo cars and then Firefly will also be delivered and NEO will deliver the NT 3.0 cars. R&D spending is quite high. But once all these cars start being delivered and receive a good reception, we might see some signs of profitability. And I think this could mark the end of NEO series of losses. NEO has lost quite a bit of money. NEO has seen remarkable success in China luxury EV market, becoming the top seller. However, this achievement has come at a high financial cost. Over six years, NEO has accumulated over $13 billion in losses, nearly double what Tesla lost in its first 11 years. These losses stem from heavy investments in R&D, infrastructure, and the development of their ecosystem, including swap stations and proprietary chips. NEO CEO has emphasized that profitability is not their immediate goal. Instead, they aim to build a comprehensive ecosystem. Despite significant cash depletion, NEO is expected to achieve profitability within the next two years as their new products hit the market. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing! and see you in the next video.